Hey, I'm Dave from Made by Dave. And if you've ever caught a Circle Day talk, hung around the Squarespace community Facebook group, or been in the Circle forum, you may have seen me around. I've worked on hundreds of Squarespace sites. And along the way, I've picked up a bunch of practical tips that can make your next build smoother, faster, and better looking. Today, I'm diving into one of Squarespace's most underrated features, the shape block. It might look simple at first glance, but it's actually a design powerhouse. I'm going to show you seven, yes, seven creative ways to use that shape block and make your website pop, add personality, and unlock a whole new level of design play. Think of it as your design playground inside Squarespace. Let's have some fun with it. So firstly, we're going to add a border around this. We'll take our shape block, and then we're going to stick it directly over the top. And then we will put the coloring, make that pink. But what we're going to do is we're going to then put on the stroke. And then the stroke color is also going to be pink. We're going to change the thickness. So we'll put that down to, let's say, one, or two, that's probably fine. And then because this has actually got a curve on it, we're going to change this border radius to be six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change and shift it backwards. And so now shape block has become a border. So that is the first one, how to um, use the shape block for a border. The next one is how we've done this split screen. So in reality, we have just a single color on the section, but then using the shape block, we can then make it look like it's a split screen. So that's the second way that we can do this using the shape block. The third way is we're going to look at it by doing this split layout. It looks as if this image is going between the two sections. However, we have got a hidden shape block here at the top. So if we then just bring that in, we can then make it look like this shape block is going between the sections. You can do this on so many different ways to make this split layout. Um, so that's a really good one. The next is how we can introduce these lines. So what we've got is a bit of custom CSS to be able to make this happen. So let me show you the two together. If you went to custom CSS, you'll see the code that is here. And how we have made that is if we go into the edit view, it would have started originally as a normal shape block with the stroke turned on. And then as soon as we apply and target the exact shape block itself with this code that we'll leave in the description below, then you can do that. Now you're wondering, how have we found these block IDs? So there is a Chrome extension that you can use. And if we toggle these on, it then allows us to find the IDs of these blocks, because then what we can do is just target this code. So this code here, we can target that against just a single block ID, which means that we're not disturbing how to do that. So if I just go and comment this code out a second, then what you can see is how the block started originally. So when you first make it, the block starts like this. What you'll do is just add a block and then add the thickness. And this thickness here is how you get the thickness of the line itself with that stroke color. And then what we're going to do is apply this code. And then what it will do 
is it will basically get rid of the outside and it will just take the line itself right down the center. And then we could just apply that. But what it also means is that because it's a shape block, you can then extend the lines really easily. So you don't need to have any extra things that um, any extra pieces of code, you can just do it like this. So that is how to use it as a vertical line. The next is using it as an overlay. So if we dive into this, so we've got this shape block that is added over the top of this image. Now you might be thinking to yourself, sure, but I can do that with a text block. I could have come into my text block and then looked at the background, set the background on it, and I could have taken the opacity down. So I could have done something uh, like this, taken the opacity, there we go, taken the opacity down and got the same desired effect by like increasing this. However, it doesn't give you the ability to place the text wherever you like, because in the example here, it does then allow us to place this. Um, so I could place the text block here or here, um, but also then on mobile, it then means we can independently control the um, text itself and we don't have to worry about where it's going to be placed. So that is another use of the shape block um, for that. Our next one is how we can use it going over the top of images. But what we are using is the blend mode. So this blend mode, if we take the original image, is then adding this color to it. So we can have all sorts of different effects. For this example, I happen to have picked up multiply, but you can do a whole other things of how to take that and be able to use it in various creative different ways. And the final way, if I just show you onto the home page. The final way is using this glow. So in this, we've got a few little glows happening here. And basically we've got a shape block, which is hidden below here. And we're using the blur effect. So we've turned on the white and we're changing the amount of blur that is being used to disperse that color behind. So then with a few of these images here and here, we've then got this extra effect that's happening. Now it's more obvious in this design because with these text blocks, we have used the opacity. So we've dialed it right down. So then you can see things behind. So this um, drop shadow may be used in different scenarios um, in different effects that you can do, um, but it is a brilliant way of being able to use that. So to recap, what have we looked at? We have looked at the border, how to make that. We've looked at how to look at split screens and being able to do that within a section itself. We have looked at how to do a split layout like this. We've looked at the vertical lines. We have looked at how to do the overlay for this. We have then looked at how to use the blend mode on images. And finally, we have looked at how to do the blur effect on that. Seven ways of how to use the shape block that you, some of them you may have thought about and others you may not have. I hope that has been really interesting and how to then enhance your Squarespace builds. If you've ever felt like you're just scratching the surface with Squarespace, now's the time to change that. 
at squarehead.co.uk, we've built a space designed to help you go deeper, faster. The link is in the description below. Inside, you'll get access to full walkthroughs of some of our best builds. We don't just show you the finished site, we break it down block by block, line by line, so that you can see exactly how it all comes together. You'll discover how to add custom touches with CSS and JavaScript, how to set up other people's plugins that we've used to make your sites work harder for your clients, and how to use AI in clever, practical ways that save hours without losing quality. Our goal is simple, to help you create sites that don't just look good, but function beautifully, and that you'll be proud to launch and your clients will love. And maybe the best part, you're not doing this alone. You'll be surrounded by a community of designers who are on the same journey. People who share ideas, swap solutions and celebrate the wins together. So if you're ready to ditch the guesswork and finally feel confident in your Squarespace skills, come and join us. It's all waiting for you at squarehead.co.uk.